arts, um, about the future of the arts industry in Manhattan. Um, you know, I dare say many of the tourists who come here in the tens of millions every year come here for the arts, and uh, yet you always hear about uh, small uh, performance venues having to move out to Bushwick, uh, about dance companies that can't find rehearsal space, um, uh, about obviously about performance arts people not being able to live in Manhattan. Uh, what ideas do you have uh, to support, particularly uh, small arts ventures in the district, um, and, and what's the cost of not supporting those uh, yet? The cost is priceless. Uh, it's what's so special about New York City. My parents met at Art Students League. Uh, many of my friends are artists. I made a joke when I was in front of the League of Independent Theaters that before I was an out lesbian, I was a proud thespian. Uh, and I think that the especially emerging artists uh, come to this city with a hope and a dream to do something special and to go on to make it big. I'm very, I'm very honored to have been endorsed by the League of Independent Theaters. I um, am going to work hard, as we talked about, as I talked about earlier, investing in small businesses. I see ideas like putting together incubation programs to invest in the arts and emerging artists. So one of the things I'd like to work with Litany to do, they put together a great, uh, I think, eight points and a planks of uh, what they'd like to do. The first thing I'd like to do in office is to commission an economic impact study to look at the way that arts impacts us financially. We, we talk about that. re-stimulating New York City. The arts uh, are uh, hundreds of millions of dollars, if not billions of dollars of industry every year. It's not just the artists performing at the venues, and we've lost too many of those venues. It's the folks who go out to dinner before, they take a cab, maybe they stay at a hotel. Um, and if we can put that into dollars and cents, we can start to show New York City in a real meaningful way the in economic impact and importance of the arts. I look forward to doing that, and I think we can achieve that within the first year of my tenure as a city council member. It's an incredibly important issue for the entire city and also for this district. This district is home to uh, thousands, of, tens of thousands of artists. More small independent theaters existed in this district than anywhere else in New York City, and probably still do, but have closed. If you look at the Zipper Theater, the Belt Theater, all of these great places that were such an important part of the community closed because of the cost. So what do we need to do? We need to make sure that anything that moves forward through the public approval process, through ULERP or anything else, is done in a way where we actually try to get art space uh, out of it, a small theater space. At Hudson Yards, we're getting what's called a culture shed, and there are good things and bad things about it. But one good thing about it is that there is going to be a space there for community theater groups to use, local theater groups, off-Broadway and off-off-Broadway uh, groups. Those are things we need to do. We also have to make sure that we <clears throat> build more housing for artists. Uh, New York City is losing a tremendous amount of people who are saying, I can't make it here anymore. I simply can't survive in New York. And so they're leaving and they're going to places like Rochester and Detroit and other places because there's a vibrant art scene there and they're able to afford to live there. We have to make sure we do not lose artists and the texture and fabric and heart and soul of New York City. And I want to make sure that we put those people first and fight on behalf of them when I'm on the city council. On a note